What's up, fools? Doing something different today. I'm gonna talk about something nobody asked for, but I wanna talk about my pipes. So if you don't like tobacco or tobacco use, probably not the video for you, but that's okay. We'll be posting more stuff soon. Let's talk about my pipes. Smoke pieces. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about my cheap ones. I have a lot of cheap ones. I'm only gonna talk about my nice ones because everybody knows the more you pay for something, the better it is. That applies to everything. So here we go. Let's hop right in. I'm gonna start with my Peterson Carry 338. This is probably the smallest pipe in my nice collection. It's not very big. Got the iridescent gold stem, got the gold and silver bands. This is how it plugs in. Pow. Beautiful pipe. Gaudy, flashy like we like it next one we got a carry rustic dairy number five so it's got the rusticated finish got a chocolate stem it's got like a, a military pusher style bit which means you can take it out while the pipe's still hot and not crack your mess so uh yeah this just plugs in like that this is a very affordable nice pipe Dairy, dairy. Dairy. Carry. See the size difference. While we're on Peterson, I'm gonna talk about my favorite Peterson, the Dracula. It, it's hard to see and I won't be able to capture it, but it's got bats and Dracula engraved right here. Got the black bowl, got the red stem. That's how it plugs in my favorite pipe from peterson it's good halloween smoke i like the shape it's very similar to my favorite pipe which is a savinelli but the shape is very similar which i'll compare that when we get there next we got a fourth gen pipe not much information on these they didn't make very many that is a beautiful briar bowl got the orange stem I mean, that's that's a pretty pipe now fourth gen uh eric stokeby that was i guess one of the grandsons who started fourth gen pipes but it's from the stokeby family so they got a bunch of old like old time like they've been in the tobacco game forever yo so i guess the grandson branched out and started making pipes and his own tobacco so yeah fourth gen Got kind of a fish tail mouthpiece there. Sick. Next one's the most expensive one in my collection. Uh, I believe this is a 1967 Dunhill Tan Shell. It says 137, maybe. I don't know. Don't bring this one out much, but it's got the fish tail mouthpiece. This one has a deceivingly large bowl. You can smoke this thing for like an hour and a half, two hours straight. Just an expensive smoke piece. It's classy. Don't bring it out much, but yeah, I got it. Now, this next one, I smoke the most. It's probably my favorite to smoke. Savinelli Oceano 311. The shape of this is on point you know you need to rest it it'll just chill finish is worn out because i smoke it a lot but that shape is the most convenient got a huge bowl very good smoke piece i want to get a fantasia savinelli in the shape savinelli's my, my my stuff man savinelli's like for me like the ferrari of the pipe world the pipe game so savinelli's where it's at oceano 11 311 oceano is 11. anyway my favorite pipe of all time i believe it's pronounced melee we got this right here savinelli 642 i brought i bought my friend uh savinelli melee i believe it's what it's called and um his came in a gloss finish mine came in a matte i like the gloss finish better but that's okay this is a beautiful pipe. Came with a honeycomb tamp. It's pretty cool. I got it in the box somewhere. But yeah, this is the first expensive 
pipe I ever bought. Got the honeycomb stem. I mean, it's just gorgeous. This is how you plug it in. Yeah, it's tight. Very good pipe. Me gusta. Me gusta. Anyway, if you want to get in the pipe game, I highly recommend not getting a cheap drugstore novelty pipe made of plastic with a metal bowl. Like, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Um, I highly recommend getting you know, like a Dr. Graybo. You can get them at the drugstore, believe it or not. But they're like $30, $40, uh, depending on what you get. You might need them cheaper. Or a Missouri Meerschaum corn cob. Now, I will say the corn cob pipe will make your tobacco taste different than if you were to smoke it in a briar pipe. So I would probably stay away from corn cob until I got used to smoking a, um, a briar pipe or something equivalent probably stay away from it but they're good and it's a different smoking experience altogether most people think you just put tobacco in there and you light it up and go no that's not how it works there's an art to it there's a million people on youtube that will show you how to pack a pipe and smoke it's still you got to figure out what's right for you and uh yeah you gotta it, it's it's an art it's a lost art so you know, if you want to get into it, get you a decent pipe. I wouldn't recommend vintage pipes starting out because uh, just the the less you need to worry about, the better. Get you like a, just get you a Dr. Graybo or shoot, you can get like these Petersons on sale pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, I don't know, like 70 bucks. I know that's a little expensive for a pipe, but uh, yeah. And I highly recommend a Colt Blood Red Moon for your first tobacco blend if you like cherry because uh, it tastes like it smells and most tobaccos don't. And it, it's a very good smoking, easy to get into tobacco. Some other things I recommend if you're just starting out, uh, start out with like a, a Lane BCA. You can order it. That's like a dark, rich... Tobacco is very good. Um, also, Lane 1Q, that's like the standard pipe tobacco, but I don't enjoy it as much as I do like a BCA or something. Um, Lane 1Q is kind of plain Jane, just, I don't know, just kind of like a standard. Also, Captain Black, the white pouch. Um, that is a very good tobacco, and I still smoke it to this day, and you can get this at the drugstore. Get it at your local Eckerd's. Uh, in fact, I got this at Rite Aid when Rite Aid was going out of business for $5. So I paid them $5 and walked out with 12 OZs. Uh, it's very good. I like it. Uh, the Captain Black that comes in the blue pouch, Captain Black Royal, is like very similar to Lane 1Q. And when, once you start getting into tobaccos, you'll see all these companies make all these brands over here. And it's a, a lot of the same stuff. But you want to get into smoking, get you a decent pipe, not none of that novelty nonsense. Get you a decent pipe, briar pipe, preferably American-made or Italian. I like the Italian stuff or Irish. I don't know. It's all good. Get you a nice briar pipe. Get you a tobacco blend that works for you. Because if you don't like the tobacco, tobacco blend... You're not going to like smoking it. So try some different stuff out. Anybody got any questions, let me know. Anybody want to buy me a Savinelli Fantasia? Hit me up. Or a Ghibli. I'll take that too. Yeah. Later, fools.